Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So the pet system is finally available in ROX. In this video, I will discuss about what pet is suitable for your job class and also I will be showing you what are the pet skills that is available. What are the pet skills that you are going to expect to get from the pet? Without delay, let's get into it. First of all, the pet system will be available once you are level 60. Maybe you are wondering why you do not have the pet system quest in your game. That is because you need to be level 60 to catch the pet. The NPC Lyra will introduce you to the pet system. Here you should buy the slingshot and some bullet projectile. Every projectile will deal damage differently to the pet. The basic projectile deal 10% damage, fair projectile deal 15% damage, and high projectile will deal 20% damage. After some explanation, she will refer you to NPC Tashed just outside of Frontera to catch the pet. The game is generous enough to give you 30 pieces of timing item in the beginning to catch the pet. So let's look at the pouring. The pouring has physical attack, penetration, and defense stat. This pet is suitable to be used by physical damage job class like Shockbow Hash type sniper, Falcon sniper, penetration sniper, Dagger assassin cross, White Smith and Spear Lord Knight. The Lunatic have physical attack, crit, and defense stat. This pet is suitable to be used by physical damage job class like Crit Sniper, Crit Qatar Assassin Cross, and Crit Sword Lord Knight. Next, the Hornet have Magic Damage and Magic Defense stat. This pet is suitable to be used by Magic Damage job class like High Wizard and High Priest. At pet level 30, the pouring can be evolved to Mastering, which have the final physical penetration and physical lifesteal stat. Similar to the Lunatic, it can be evolved to Eclipse with final crit and physical lifesteal stat. And the Hornet can be evolved to Mistress with final magic penetration and magic lifesteal stat. To evolve the pet, you need headgear and evolution item. The Pouring need the Mastering headgear to evolve. The Lunatic need Eclipse headgear and the Hornet need Mistress headgear. All three of them have 10% success rate for evolution. Once failed, the headgear will return back to your backpack and can be used again for another try of evolution. To evolve a pouring lunatic and hornet may seem difficult as you need the MVP headgear. Another alternative pet that you can use is the grasshopper, familia, and the baby desert wolf, which can be evolved to rocker, granilia, and desert wolf. The Grasshopper have crit and attack speed stat which make it suitable to be used by physical damage job class like Crit Sniper, Crit Qatar Assassin Cross, and Crit Sword Lord Knight. The Familiar have has magic penetration and magic damage bonus, suitable for magic damage job class like High Wizard and High Priest. Baby Desert Wolf have has and physical penetration which make it suitable for short bow has type sniper, Falcon Sniper, Penetration Sniper, Dagger Assassin Cross, White Smith, and Spear Lord Knight. To evolve the Grasshopper, Familiar, and Baby Desert Wolf, you need the Rocker, Granilia, and Desert Wolf headgear respectively. Another pet that you can catch is the Yo-Yo, Gear, and Skeleton Walker. These three pets are blue quality pets, so they do not have any evolution, but will cost a lot of crystals to buy the timing item. White quality pet timing item costs 3000 crystal each and needs 6 pieces to catch a pet. So in total, it costs 18,000 crystals to catch one white pet. To catch blue quality pet, you need the blue pet timing item, which costs 30,000 crystal each. You need 6 pieces per catch. So in total, you need 180,000 crystals to catch a blue pet. Taming a pet have 5% to 15% success rate, so you might want to try a few times to successfully catch a pet. Okay, let's look at Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo have crit damage bonus and final attack speed and physical attack stat. While the crit damage bonus is definitely will be beneficial to crit type build like crit sniper, crit katar assassin cross, and crit sword lord knight, 
but I think it is also suitable for any physical attack job class. The gear of a final magic damage bonus, magic attack, crit damage bonus, and final haste. This one will be suitable for high priest and high wizard. Next, skeleton worker pet not only have final physical defense and final physical damage reduction, it also have final magic defense and final magic damage reduction, and also debuff reduction and debuff resistance, which make it suitable to all job class for that extra tankiness, which can be useful in PvP. Now, the game do not show you how to catch the pet, you need to figure out it yourself. First, you need to have the slingshot, the bullet projectile, and at least 6 pieces of telling item. Equip the slingshot like you equip the weapon normally, and select the bullet projectile that you want to use, similar to the elemental arrows. Next, equip the pet timing skill at the skill shortcut. You can find the time pet skill on top of the skill patch here. Each pet will use different timing item to catch. You can look at the pet life skill patch to see what item you need to catch the pet that you want. Now, search for a pet that you want to catch and attack it like usual. It's said here the lower the pet HP, the greater your chance of successfully catch the pet. So you need to lower the pet HP before using the time pet skill to catch them. When you catch a pet, a slot machine animation will show up. When the slot machine stops at the timing item that used to catch the pet, the pet will be successfully captured. The more the timing item shows up in the slot machine, the better quality of the pad. If the slot machine do not stop at the timing item that is used to catch the pad, the pad will not be captured. Now you can have as many pads as you want, but you can only add 6 pads to battle and only can use one pet to fight alongside with you at one time. After catching a pet, you can immediately bring it out by tapping the fight icon. Once the pet is deployed, the stat will be directly added to your main stat. Each pet has 720 points energy. One point will be deducted for every 10 seconds. So one pet can be deployed for 120 minutes or 2 hours. Once the pet energy is used up, it will be automatically withdrawn. You can withdraw your pet anytime. The energy will replenish one point for every minute. Or you can give your pet the pet food to immediately replenish some energy. Every day, you can interact or give your pet favor item for 10 times. Giving them item will increase their level. At level 10, you can upgrade your pet from 1 star to 2 star and so on. Higher grad pet will have higher aptitude. You can either give the pet the timing item which you can buy at the pet NPC shop using crystal, or the pet favor item which you can also buy from the NPC shop with Zenny. At level 30, you can evolve the pet to the next form. If you decide to release the pet, releasing the pet will give you some pet item. Pet have their passive skill that will give buff to your main stat. To awaken the pet skill, you need the skill sheet. This skill sheet can be obtained from the pet vending machine. The pet vending machine will use the pet coin to roll. You can get the pet coin from the COC mission quest. The pet skill is obtained randomly. Here is the known pet skill for all of the pets that is available so far.
ultimate pet skill that players are aiming for is their fire element damage increase skill from baby desert wolf that can increase 20% of fire attribute damage. It is suggested that you increase your pet level only after you get the skill that you want because the pet skill can't be changed after randomly obtained and be reminded that the pet skill will be gone after evolution. This info I got from players at the official ROX Discord. I myself am not sure about its validity. If you know more details on this, please comment at the comment section down below. I also want to highlight that these pets are not the only pets that you can capture. If you look at the Morning Dew timing item, it said here it is used to catch the pet stainer at timing level 2. So apparently, you can capture different pets as your timing level increase. Players also have shared this table showing what pet can be captured at higher timing level. That's it for this video, I hope this video can help you to decide which path to use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It is free so you don't have to pay for it. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now, I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing, bye bye!